A company's market capitalization is an indicator of the scale of its business. The market capitalization of a stock plays an important role in deciding which stock should you invest in. Choosing the best stock based on its market capitalization and its risk factor can help protect your hard-earned money and earn you great returns. More importantly, it can prevent the pain of seeing your money go up in flames. Before we get into how you can do this, we must understand the basics of market capitalization. If you wish to buy a company and all its shares were offered to you at the current market price, what the company would cost you would be its market capitalization. So, you will have to pay the market capitalization of the company, which is the product of the company's total number of shares outstanding and the market price of each share. Let's understand this better with an example. If you decided to purchase company A when its shares were trading at 50 rupees and the number of shares outstanding as 1 crore, therefore, 50 crore rupees is the market capitalization of company A. And this is what you would have paid. It is actually the public opinion about the worth of a company's stock. So, market capitalization is essentially the public opinion of what the company is worth. This opinion is based on the past performance of the company, its future prospects, and market sentiments of the public regarding the company. The market capitalization changes with time as a result of factors like company performance and economic factors like inflation, interest rates, etc. In India, you can find companies with market capitalization ranging from a few lakhs to as much as a few lakh crores. As a result, companies are usually classified as large cap, mid cap and small cap companies. This brings us to the next question. What exactly defines large cap, mid cap and small cap companies? The BSE classifies companies according to their market capitalization by what is called the 80-15-5 method. Here's how this method works. Arrange all the companies in descending order of their market capitalization. The group of companies from the top which together contribute 80% of the total market capitalization are large cap companies. The next group of companies contributing 15%, 80% to 95% of market capitalization are mid cap companies. And the remaining companies which contribute 5% of market capitalization are small cap companies. The number of small cap companies is the highest, followed by mid cap and large cap companies. Thus, a small proportion of the total number of companies, that is large cap, contributes the major part, 80% of the total market capitalization. This does not, however, mean that if the market falls or rises considerably, large cap companies will become mid cap and mid cap will become small cap or vice versa. What will change are the ranges as well as the total market capitalization. But what's the real difference between all these categories? We have understood market capitalization to be an indicator of a company's size. Large cap companies are more robust and can be compared to a heavy goods carrier. A mid cap company could be compared to a mini carrier. If there is a speed breaker or a bump on the road, the chances of a mini carrier getting knocked down are much greater compared to the heavy goods carrier. A mini carrier picks up speed quickly and travels faster compared to the heavy goods carrier. Yet again, the heavy goods carrier may require time to pick up speed, but it has better stability and momentum. A comparative account of large cap, mid cap and small cap companies would look like this. So, why should you as an investor look at a company's market capitalization? 
To explain it simply, at an investor meet, three friends, Mr. Conservative, Mr. Practical and Mr. Adventurous, dine together. Mr. Conservative has a very low risk appetite. So he wants to be safe and invests only in large cap stocks. Mr. Practical understands that if he wants higher returns, he must take greater risks. So he invests a part of his funds in mid cap stocks, which increases his chance of getting a higher return on his total investment. At the same time, he keeps a large part of his investment exposed to low risk by investing in large cap stocks. Mr. Adventurous, on the other hand, is willing to risk losing a large part of his investment or the possibility of getting very high returns on his investments. So, he invests most of his funds in risky, mid-cap and highly risky small-cap stocks. He keeps a very small part of his fund invested in large-cap stocks. This is how market capitalization plays an important role in deciding which companies you should invest in considering your expected returns and your risk appetite. So, what kind of a person are you? Are you Mr. Conservative, Mr. Practical or Mr. Adventurous?